What's going on, fellas? It's another C Boogie production. Hey, I want to salute y'all for subscribing to my channel. And I also want to thank y'all for liking my videos. And shout out to the Dime Game Division. Roll, man. Does organic lust involve money? You know, matter of fact, let me rewind. Is money important when two people are choosing each other based off of organic lust? You know, and the answer is no and yes. Let me explain, man. When it comes to a woman, you know, finding a man that she's organically sexually attracted to, you know, the biggest thing she's thinking about is how this man makes her feel straight up and down, period. Those are the biggest criteria. He makes her feel happy and he makes her feel safe. You know, he makes her feel more beautiful. He makes her feel more sexy. You know, just his presence alone, you know, his masculine presence does that for her. Now, in the world of women, many guys cannot do that, you know, straight up. You know, many guys cannot do that. Many guys cannot show up on the scene and with his masculine presence, make a woman feel happy and make a woman feel safe. I'm going to be honest. I don't even know the determining factors when it comes to making a woman feel happy and safe, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, obviously, it has to be a level of attraction. Obviously, the man has to be well put together. You know, I would say he has to have a, a cool, calming demeanor. You know, he can't get emotional. You dig? Um, he's a good listener. You know, he's always on time with his advice. You know, he know how to look at that woman. He knows how to touch that woman, et cetera, et cetera. You know what I mean? The basics. But I don't, I don't, I don't really know beyond that what, what goes through a woman's mind when she's around sad guy. You know what I'm saying? You got to ask a woman. But at the end of the day, those are some of the biggest factors that some women have told me, you know, that I make them feel happy and I make them feel safe. But moving on from that, how important is money in these situations? Well, when it comes to that right there, dog, it's, it's not important at all. Now, is being broke attractive to women? That'd be the next question. And obviously that's no, you know what I mean? A man being absolutely positively unemployed, broke, don't even have earning potential coming his way, you know, that is not attractive to a woman, but all women don't want your money is what I'm saying. I've met a lot of women in life, man. I'm not even talking about a handful. I'm talking about dozens of women in life. They was the kind of woman that just enjoyed being in love. You know what I'm saying? Straight up and down. They actually enjoyed it. They love to love. They love to be loved. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, it's an asterisk behind that shit. Let me tell you why. Because if you happen to get into a you know, monogamous relationship with these women, then yeah, man, money do become a factor. I mean, you have to be able to take your lady out on dates. You have to be able to pay the bills, you know what I mean? Uh, you may want to do something nice for our birthday. You may want to go to the game, you know what I'm saying? You may want to take a small weekend trip with her, you know what I'm saying? Sh stuff like that, man. You need money to do these type of things, man. Just period, you know what I mean? You can't do them if you're broke. But what I'm saying is, is her sole purpose of being around you as a man for your money. Not really, man. You know what I'm saying? For some women, especially women that make their own money, they're way more interested in the way a man makes them feel. You dig? 
but it just is what it is. Now, some guys would say all women want a man's money. I would look that man in the eyes and say bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Bullshit. Now, most women in, <laughs> most women are not going to turn down a man's money. I mean, hell, man, if you're offering it, a lot of women going to take it. You dig? But at the same time, some women find it very offensive when you start leading with your wallet, when you start leading with your money. Real talk, man. I mean, hell, if you want to do a social experiment, you know what I mean? All the fellas that, that say bullshit to what I'm saying, go out today with a pocket full of money and just start offering that shit to random women. Some women going to take it. Some women going to look at you like you freaking crazy. Straight up. Especially if you look unfamiliar. Especially if they're not attracted to you. I mean, <laughs> dog, I'm going to be honest, man. Some women are going to be so offensive that they may even call the cops on you. I mean, excuse me, offended rather. That they may even call the cops on you. You know what I mean? So you got to be careful with presenting money to certain women. Um, everybody don't value money the same. You know what I mean? I've met women that value experiences, man. You know what I'm saying? They was perfectly happy with, you know I me mean? Walks in the park. You know what I mean? I've met some women that were very into nature and stuff like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? They call themselves being on a higher vibration. I'm just being honest. They understood that money, you know, has to support a lifestyle, but they wasn't really materialistic like that. I've met women that preferred to shop in thrift shops. Um, you know what I mean? They wasn't into the name brand stuff. They wasn't even hip on it. You dig? I've met all kind of women, man. Truth be told. You know what I mean? I've met all types of women, dog. Um, you know, it just was what it was. I've met women that did nothing but save their money. You know what I mean? They wouldn't do any kind of extra frivolous spending. You know what I'm saying? And that's just how they roll. You know what I mean? So to impress these women, you know, you had to have a very creative, thought out way to get their attention. You know what I mean? Buying her a new handbag, buying her some heels, or buying her something materialistic just wouldn't do it. You know what I'm saying? They, they be like, you know, thank you, but that's about it. You dig? So, you know, it's just my thoughts on that, man. It's my experiences on that. You know what I mean? But I would say, you know, I mean, just, you know, for the men, having money does give you confidence. You know, um, you're going to be less confident in talking to a woman when you're broke. You dig? Um, and you don't have to be a millionaire. You don't have to. You know, have a bunch of money in the bank, but, you know, being able to take a woman on a date, being able to do certain things, you know what I mean? That's like the bare minimum, right? Straight up. I mean, most women that you're going to deal with, you know, they got their own job, they got their own house, they got their own car, you know what I mean? So they can pretty much sustain themselves, you know what I mean? But um, being broke going to start the best with your confidence, you know? So that's where the money comes in. And if you start talking about marriage, a long-term relationship, then yeah, finances are very important. Fin finances are very important because you have to support your lifestyle, but it may not be the number one reason that that woman is with you is what I'm saying. It is what it is. So just chew on that for a second, man. Shout out to the Dime Game Division. Peace.